This is a quick video to get started using Scala test and SBT. Scala test is um, a really productive and expressive um, tool uh, if you want to do TDD slash BDD uh, based solutions. Um, and um, in order to get started, I uh, thought I would create a quick video on how you can get started. Again, Scala test, uh, the name suggests it's for Scala. However, you could use it for Java projects as well as even JavaScript for that matter. However, for purposes of this demo, I'm going to stick with Scala. Uh, and again, it's a uh, really powerful, works with uh, other TDD tools um, as well as uh, mocking frameworks that you may have used within Java or even Scala. You can use that alongside Scala test. Uh, so to get started, um, I've got a simple project uh, here. So uh, let's pull up. Uh, in my case, I'm using Sublime, but uh, of course you could use the editor of your choice or the IDE of your choice. You could even use uh, IntelliJ or uh, Eclipse or Scala IDE of whichever editor of your choice. But to keep things simple, I'm just using a simple editor like um, uh, Sublime and SPT on the console. All right, so I've, I've got a simple um, uh, utility uh, class slash object here. Uh, so again, I'm uh, I'm not trying to focus on a very complex domain. So I've got a really simple hello world style uh, set of uh, methods here. So I've got a divide and a, I've got a can vote. And um, uh, for us to get started, um, so if you have a, a class or a utility um, static library that you want to test. So uh, step one is to create the project structure. Um, so if you're using SBT, uh, again, it's very similar to Maven. So um, let's say, uh, let's see the folder structure. So really simple again. So uh, we have the source folder, which uh, we have the util uh, class here, and then uh, we need to uh, create the tests. Uh, so the very first step is uh, to add the Scala test dependency, the library dependency. So head over to scalatest.org and uh, click on install link. And uh, there you should find um, the dependency that you need to add. So copy this dependency. That's uh, the, the Scala test uh, specifically for the test and drop that into your build.sbt. So alongside any other properties that you have set, uh, again, these are the standard, uh, the defaults, the name version and the Scala version. And um, I pasted over uh, the dependency for Scala test. Uh, so with that in place, um, we've got um, the dependencies needed uh, for Scala test. And now we have to write the specification. So. Uh, Scala test itself is quite expressive. Um, there are various ways that uh, you could uh, define your specification. Uh, However, uh, one of the most um, uh, easiest and uh, expressive ones uh, is to use the flat specification. So again, um, under your test, under Scala, um, I've got uh, a class here, demo test, and uh, I'm using the flat specification. So the flat specification, as you can see, is uh, quite easy to express. Um, so uh, we basically define the behaviors of the specifications through behaviors that we want uh, to test. So again, this is for the myutil, the behavior. So in the suite, we are testing, uh, we've got four tests here. So again, uh, within the class, I've got two, two methods. So there's the divide and there's a can vote. And as you can imagine, in the divide case, uh, uh, the, the regular use case. And then, of course, um, there's uh, scenarios where you can have exceptions. Uh, so division by zero, for example. And in the can vote, we broadly have two parts. So what if uh, it's uh, greater than or equal to 18? And um, what if it's uh, less than 18 years of age? So again, we have got these four test cases. Um, so as you can see, we can test for a particular uh, value that we are expecting. So if you are dividing two numbers uh, using the matches, uh, we can uh, under, uh, we can specify test that it should be two. So again, it's writing it in a very specification oriented, very expressive manner, as well as um, gives us the ability to test uh, for exception conditions. Uh, so again, really simple set of examples. So let's uh, jump over and uh, go back to the terminal here. And um, 
couple of ways that we can run the test. So we can run it at SBT test. Uh, However, I like to run it in the interactive mode. Uh, again, when you're um, making code changes and doing iterative development, uh, it's always faster just to uh, just pop over to the interactive mode um, and then run tests from there. So this is the first time I'm running it. Um, so again, it um, resolves all the dependencies and uh, updates um, all your project folders. All right, so that's good. So all set. So now we can actually run uh, the tests. Uh, so just prior to that, it's a good idea just to run compile. Um, just make sure that um, your code is working. So that's this uh, uh, set of code there. That's all working well and fine. So all good in that department. Um, so now let's actually run our test itself. So the way you can do that is just run test. Um, so behind the scene, it um, looks up all the test suites that you have and executes all your tests. Uh, so here you can see we've got uh, four, the suite has four specification, uh, I mean four tests here. So you can see that uh, for the myutil, so that's myutil, uh, we have uh, four tests and it's uh, run through all the four tests and it's, uh, it's passed all the four tests. Uh, here it gives you a quick summary. Um, how long it took and uh, the number of uh, test cases, um, how many suites you have run here in our case it's just one and uh, how many total test cases it succeeded and um, any that failed. So all well and good here. Um, so that's, uh, that's really a quick um, kind of like 20,000 feet uh, overview demo around how you can use uh, Scala test. Um, just a couple of tips before we wrap up. So on occasions, of course, uh, you have lots and lots of uh, test suites. Uh, some of these were possibly written by your colleagues in a large project. So what if you did not want to wait till all the test uh, scripts were run and you were just focusing around your test scripts? So one of the ways you can do is just set it to ignore uh, so if you set uh, a test suite to ignore, um, as you would expect, uh, it does not actually run those tests. Uh, so it just uh, ignores. Um, so here you can see that um, uh, all all the tests were ignored. So if you wanted to speed up uh, your uh, just testing your uh, test suite as opposed to running all the suites, um, that's quite handy. Um, here you can see that it's actually ignored all the four test cases. Um, the instead of ignore, the other option is uh, set it to do not discover. Yeah, so if we set it to do not discover, um, it doesn't even detect the test suite. Uh, so again, um, this is really handy if you have lots of test suites, but uh, you are just interested in running uh, a particular test suite. You can set the others as uh, do not discover slash ignore and uh, just get on with um, your, the test uh, suite that you are interested in. So that's uh, just a quick tip. Uh, uh, again, handy if you're running multiple um, test suites uh, within a project. Uh, so that's a wrap for this quick video on getting started with Scala test and future videos I'll cover more uh, advanced topics on using Scala test. Thanks everyone for watching.